Our next guest is out with a new book with a damning indictment of the Trump presidency. He uses just one word to describe Donald Trump. Traitor. Joining our conversation, David Rothkopf, visiting scholar at the Carnegie Endowment for Peace and author of the new book, Traitor, a history of American betrayal from Benedict Arnold to Donald Trump, because I can feel him smiling from here. Jason Johnson is still with us. David, take me through the thesis of this book, Donald Trump as a traitor. Well, the thesis is that, uh, you know, Donald Trump is a lot of things. He's a liar. He's a racist. He's a misogynist. He's corrupt. But I don't think we should lose fact, uh, track of the fact that from the beginning, he has been involved in, in betraying the country. You know, the presidency, as you know very well, uh, is one of those rare jobs that begins by taking an oath. You take an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. And almost immediately, Donald Trump betrayed that oath, broke that oath. Uh, and it begins, as Nancy Pelosi says, with Russia. It always comes back to Russia. He embraced the assistance of our most notable adversary in the world. He did it in a way that uh, involved uh, stolen materials. He then defended them. He then rewarded them. He uh, pursued policies that no other president would have pursued. Uh, and uh, he gave deference to their leader over our CIA, over our FBI. Now, he's betrayed the country in a lot of other ways. Clearly, he's put his political interests ahead of the country, uh, national interests with regard to COVID. Uh, he's put his financial interests ahead of the country with regard to a whole host of other things. But I don't think we should lose sight of this, and I think we should look at it in a, in a non-inflammatory way uh, by comparing it to what else has happened in our history. So that's what I did. I went back to the beginning, back to Benedict Arnold. I looked at people who betrayed the country through the Civil War, through the 20th century, and I said, how does this guy compare? Uh, and I have to say, it doesn't. he doesn't compare very well. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.